year that Colorado State has issued its hurricane seasonal forecast. This year going with 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, three of which become major hurricanes. Now this is slightly above average and you're going, well, what exactly is average? Let me show you. So average is 12 storms, six hurricanes, three major hurricanes. So again, slightly above the average. Last year, I mean, what an incredible year it was. 17 named storms, 10 hurricanes, six became major. It was the fifth most active season on record. So what's driving this forecast? Well, here is a look. This year, we're not expecting an El Nino. You know, last year at the beginning of the season, it looked like an El Nino would develop. Those are the strong upper level winds that can tear a system apart. We're not going to have it this year. Looks like it's going to be a neutral year. We're also looking at the tropical Atlantic. It's warm in the west and then cool in the North Atlantic and cool in the East Atlantic. Now, as I look at this, it's very similar to last year. The difference is the West Atlantic was actually a little bit warmer. Then we look for El Nino doesn't look like it's going to happen. The reason we want El Nino, it causes these strong upper level winds that can tear a system apart across the Caribbean and the Atlantic. It's not as much a factor in the Gulf of Mexico. So here's our takeaway. Hurricane season begins June 1st, goes through November 30th, most active August, September and October. What you need to do, get ready now. Get your hurricane kit together, check your insurance, prepare your home. And the takeaway is, it only takes one hurricane. And last year, we had some bad hurricanes. If one of those hit us, it would be really bad.